Hey guys, welcome to the fourth reporting video. For this video, I'll be doing three plants. Hopefully three plants because I'm actually running out of um, media. I received my media the other day only to find out that they actually gave me the wrong one. So I lack some components of the media that I use. So now since I have a little left, I'll be doing the smaller plants. I actually wanted to do my remaining tall plants, but yeah, I don't have enough media. I have to wait. I think they are going to reach tomorrow maybe so even with these three small plants i might not have enough for one of them but we'll see how it goes as i report them i will first be starting with the philodendron pink princess so here it is um, it's actually hot pink in real life but um, i don't i'm not sure whether you can really see it on video and supposedly when i bought this it was from a marbling mother plant really beautiful mother plant in fact, I thought it was, but after I bought it, I realized that the seller actually said that this is something like the, a sibling plant or something. So I did not buy the cutting or the seeds from the actual marbling pink princess that I wanted. <laughs> but apparently, this one also sort of have quite a good variegation. So I'll just keep this and, and see how it progresses. But if it doesn't improve or gets a lot of marbling, I will be replacing it with a better marbling one because my intention of getting one is actually because of the super marbling pink princess um, variant yeah i'll just be keeping this until it gets big so now uh, we'll start off with this i bought this right before this leaf so it was actually here this was when i bought it and then when i collected it this just um unfurled so with me, it already grew some leaves. Yeah, even one, two, at the, two growing towards the back. <laughs> so this is the latest one. As you can see, the variegation is um, really beautiful. But really on video, it doesn't do justice of how hot pink it is in real life. So I'll be proceeding with uh, this. Removing the chopstick first. Okay, as you can see, the root system is actually <laughs> quite cute. Yeah, even the roots are slightly pink on some parts. So beautiful. And the stems are actually very, very hot pink. Really beautiful. I, I seriously love this plant. Yeah, and another one that I really wanted to get is uh, the Philodendron Strawberry Shake. It kind, kind of similar to the Pink Princess, except that it has... Um, yellow yellowish white as well just like the elbow yeah but over here is actually not that easy to get it's very rare those strawberry shake that you can find here are usually those with no strong pink color in them so yeah it being very hard to get can really tell you the price point of it <laughs> but i'm not in a rush so i'll just wait <laughs> hopefully i get one in the near future so yeah, uh, if you can see, the sources that I use for these are actually plastic plates. <laughs> so in my past videos, I was actually talking about how difficult it is without a proper saucer. So it's really hard for me to water them. Or rather, it was really hard for me to yeah put them down here and I was actually using paper towels. It was very tedious and messy. And I ordered plastic sources from China and it reached me two days ago yeah but i ordered 30 pieces but only 10 pieces got here so yeah i was actually quite mad because i really wanted to get proper sauces quickly as i wanted to move them around as i need to paint and all yeah and only 10 reach and also i needed them only for a temporary period because when my garden is ready when all the whole setup is ready they won't be needing any sources because they'll be on a drainage system so i got pretty um upset at that and i was telling a friend of mine that you know, only 10 pieces arrived and then he asked me whether it was temporary and i said yes and he suggested to just use plastic 
plates and immediately i was like yeah why didn't i think of that <laughs> and i was i was already outside um, so i was literally at a place where there are plastic plates in front like just there so the moment my friend told me not even 30 seconds i bought some and it was and yeah i mean i was stressing over sauces I mean, in actual fact i could have just got this way way back <laughs> So anyway, uh, bad news, there's only enough um, media to pot only one plant. <laughs> so these two have to wait for the media to arrive before I can proceed with them. <laughs> oh man, I'm so sorry. Yeah, so even for one plan is um, almost not enough. Uh, okay, guys, I'm I'm done with this reporting. Uh, so now I'll be showing a close up, and then proceed with the other ones once my potting media is here. Okay, so I will water this plant after this video, but I'm just going to show first. This is the latest leaf. Look at the variegation. Some hot pink around here. Yeah, but these ones are so... But I realized that the hot pink actually kind of washes out. Uh, maybe because um, at a point of time, this plant was actually quite far away from a light source. Yeah, but it's still hot pink here. It's just it's so hard to see on video. And then look look at the stems. Look how beautiful they are. There's some deep red here and then very pink ones here. At the bottom there, a lot of pink. So what I meant just now was actually I hope that in the future that this plant actually gets a lot a lot more pink. Yeah, not majority pink. I don't want full moons, but yeah, I want like similar to this and with more marbling. So yeah, that's it guys. I <laughs> I don't have enough for this. <laughs> I'll see you guys next for the update on the recent propagation plants. Let's see how it grows. Bye.